So uh, PKB is uh, equal to negative log KB. And so that means that the higher uh, the KB, the higher the, uh, the, the amount of product that you're going to make, the higher um, uh, your base constant, equilibrium constant. Because just to remind you, an equilibrium constant, uh, generally speaking, but remember, an equilibrium constant is the product of the product of the product of the reactants. So, how much product are you making? If you have a strong base, you are going to make a lot of product, right? A strong base will make a lot of, it will ionize and make a lot of product. So, um, a weak base will make very little product. So, the higher, the uh, stronger the base is going to be the higher the KB because it's the product of the product or the product react. It's higher the KB. The higher the KB will be the lower the PKB. Why? Because of the negative sign. The higher the KB, the lower the PKB because of the negative. It's not because of the logarithm. The logarithm only straightens out the curve, blah, blah, blah. It's because um, of the negative sign. So, and it's the same thing if it was a KA, the higher the KA, the lower the PKA. If it was pH, the higher the hydrogen ion concentration, the lower the pH, same thing. So, um, so the higher the, um, the stronger the base is the higher the KB, which means the smaller the PKB, and that means the larger the PK, PKA of the conjugate acid. Because um, you may remember that uh, PKA and PKB is is what what's pKa and pKb equal to? And yes, yes, yes. So pKa and pKb are equal to um, fourteen. So if you're going to have a lower pKb, you will have a higher pKa. You have a higher pKb, a lower pKa. Of course, it's equal to fourteen <laughs> at um, at uh, at uh, room temperature, which we'll get to in our next question. Okay. So, um, yes, the answer for 51 is A.